Hey everyone, my name is Sean, and today I want to show you what I take truck camping with me. I've got a kind of a minimal setup, but it's kind of bougie at the same time, and I want to talk a little bit about it. I don't have a crazy roof rack or tent setup on here. I use an eight year old truck tent that has been working perfect, and I've taken it all over the country, at least on the west coast. I've been into a bunch of different states here, and it's really served us well. And I want to show you a little bit about what I bring with it, kind of my setup for packing and keeping stuff dry and organized on the road because that's kind of a pain and I know I'm worried about it because I don't have any internal storage or at least the internal storage I do have is usually used for clothing and personal electronics and stuff like that. So we don't really put too much of the camping camping stuff inside and that's why I've got these boxes all set up the way I do and I want to dive in and show you a little bit about them. A couple of the main things I use are my Yeti 35 cooler, which works pretty well. I also have a smaller cooler from my Milwaukee work stuff that I use sometimes as well because I can just put the food in there and it keeps a little bit closer and I'll put that inside the truck, especially with the fresh stuff that we want to keep nice on our trip. Uh, That's usually for drinks and we also use this as the step to get into the tent when we're camping. It's the only way to get up this huge step up to here where you need to be. So. It works perfectly. Another thing I just got recently is this uh, mini propane tank. And this thing is a game changer for cooking. It just kind of takes its own place and you don't have to worry about running out of small cans. But I do have bring extra small cans with me just in case too because you don't want to run out of this and not have one of those. So that gets done with that. Two other important things that I always have with me is my solar panel. It's a Goal Zero Boulder 50 that I got in this nice case. Still got the tags on it. These parking blocks are super, super useful for camping in your car, especially uh, if you're somewhere off balance, off hill. It really sucks sleeping sideways or crooked or at an angle if the front's back or the down. So these blocks are those stackable RV blocks and those are super vital for getting a good night's sleep. I always bring extra water for washing dishes and drinking if you need it. I also bring some gallons of a uh, crystal geyser in the truck that keeps them cooler. That way, you know, the plastic doesn't leach while you're driving in the sun. And we're gonna start looking inside the boxes to see how I have those packed so you can get a good idea of what I bring and how to pack it up nicely and keep it all organized while you're out on the trail. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're going to Kings Canyon tomorrow. So that's why I'm packing and doing this all right now. I wanted to figure to have it all out. Might as well show you guys what I got in case you're interested in doing something like this. Um, I know pickup trucks are pretty common and they make it pretty easy to camp with. You can bring a lot of stuff. I can throw bikes in here with all this stuff as well. I just kind of organize it a little different. So we're going to get in these cases and I'll show you what I got in them. All right, let's start with this one. You might laugh at me because not all this stuff is completely necessary, but it is comfortable and makes camping in the truck way more fun. And I figured if I got the room, I might as well use it. And if I'm using the room, I might as well be organized while I'm using it. So that's what these are for. These are a Plano Sportsman trunks and probably the best things I've bought for camping and doing a lot of different off-road stuff. They fit in my girlfriend's Jeep. They fit in here perfectly. They double stack. I can stack them in the garage, get them out of the way, not have to worry about anything. One by one, they're going to go quick on some of them because there's not much in them and you're going to laugh probably. So the first one we'll start with is this one. This is a what is it, a one and a half inch foam mattress topper. Makes sleeping in the back super comfy. I believe this one has some sleeping bags in it and along as well as a uh, thermarest pad, as you can see there. Fits well, there's actually more room in here too, so if I wanted to throw some more pillows or anything like that, you could definitely fit them. Um, this is just a kind of a, I think I got an Amazon sleeping bag, zero degree bag, budget, but it's been working for years. We've never been so anywhere that cold. We are on the West Coast, so it doesn't get crazy, crazy cold. We're in the Southern part too, so. But yeah, so that's that one. I think the next one is pretty much the same. It's got my Thermarest, a, a red Thermarest in it, and it has a, another sleeping bag. What's nice about these is it keeps everything dry. The way the lips actually go over on these boxes right here is really, really nice. As you can see that. This is a bigger sleeping bag, so it doesn't fit in its rolled up configuration. So I just pulled it out of the stuff sack, threw my red 
uh, thermo rest in there kind of extended out and then this just stuffs on top of it and works really well. We're now getting to the good stuff though, the stuff that I think you really like and uh, hopefully you're impressed with how they're laid out and what I can fit in them and I hope that it helps you a little bit. This is my cooking kit. As you can see, I got labels on it, keep everything organized. When we pop into this one, this is where the real organization starts. This one I've had the longest and it was my first box I got, so I've had the most time to kind of figure out what I want in it. And we'll jump right into it. So to start it off, I got a wash bin here. I'm not sure the brand, but probably just one of the regular Amazon, whatever you find on there. Um, on top of that, I got my pots. On one side, I got a little grill mat for a little netting if I need it. There's also some uh, foil here, but two reserve bottles of fuel for my stove. The other stuff in here is just a little cooking pot kit, a little mess kit, and a couple of these little food kits. Never even used them, but they're there in case I do. Got a life straw in case you get stranded somewhere. Just some other stuff like that, some paper plates. We try to be pretty conservative and not waste too much on the trail, but you never know if you're cu cutting chicken or something, you don't wanna be packing that around with you all over the place. So that's one side, and the other side also has another pan in it. It's my nice big GSI flat pan. This thing works really well, I love this thing. This thing, the non-stick on this is great too. It's been lasting for years. Over here, I just got some towels. Got some fuel for my jet boil. The jet boil fits in there as well. Got toke stacking cans, uh, you know, titanium uh, mugs. This is the most used piece in here, this MSI cooking kit, which is pretty much all original. I think I've just got some more forks and stuff thrown in here. A couple extra little forks and stuff, but some salt and pepper, anything you could use for cooking, tongs, spoons, all sorts of stuff. So this is my favorite piece of kit for sure. And if you're not, don't have one of these or something like it, I would definitely recommend it. So that's pretty much for that for that one. That's all cooking stuff. I got some more salt and pepper, some dish soap and some other seasonings in here that'll just, that are good staying here year round. They'll just last. And yeah, we'll throw this back in. Get it all reorganized. And then I will show you my tool kit. That's the next one. It's got a bunch of tools and a bunch of uh, little camp essentials that are really helpful for once you're at camp and you're just trying to stay comfy, get a fire going, stuff like that. I forgot to mention, I got this other little Plano box. It just has a, this stays with my truck all the time. I got a little Milwaukee air pump in here. Got some bug spray, some work gloves in case I gotta crawl around, and I got some straps and a couple padlocks for my bike lock and the little chain I have just to lock my cooler down when we are camping. Also, if you're truck bed camping, I highly recommend getting a piece of plywood and cutting it to fit. It will save your back so much, it's insane. This, the grooves in the truck bed are not nice on the back if you didn't know that, so if you're thinking about getting a truck or something like this, just make sure you go get yourself a piece of wood from Home Depot. A four by eight fits in my truck perfectly, but I do have to cut the back off. So if you don't have a saw, Home Depot could help you. Go take a measurement before and then cut it right there for you in the store. So pro tip from a construction worker, go do that. You no know, box is gonna be my tools, fire starting, some electrical stuff for, you know, if you do have power at a place. Um, and then I do have one more back there, the big yellow one, if you can see right here. I can figure, find out where it's at. Uh, that one has uh, my tent, my truck tent, my ax, my stove. I keep a secondary tent in there that's just like a little two person Kelty tent that's a little lightweight thing just in case we ever get need it for someone else that shows up that wants to camp with us or in case we ever want to take it in the Jeep because it's a little bit smaller and kind of goes everywhere. So that's all in that box. I'll show you a little bit of that. It's a little bit messy, but it's just a place to store stuff. And it stayed dry, I've, I've kept it in that box for a while now, and it just seems to keep keep working for me. So I'm gonna keep doing that until that box falls apart, and then maybe I'll have to figure something else out down the road, but we'll see.
Here's my final Plano box. And like it says on here, keep some tools. I don't know if I have propane in there still, but I do have some sun bug spray. That used to be there. That used to be there too. So I gotta do some relabeling soon. But hammer, sit pad, broom, batteries and stuff like that are all stored in here. See that a little bit. Now what's cool is these 12, or I think they're 10 by 10 cubes or 12 by 12 cubes uh, off of Amazon work really well for actually keeping the sides separated. I do have a little bit of a propane right there just in case. Let's see, I keep a shovel here as well. This is a little portable wood stove. Just folds out. It's got its own little, own little setup here. Do some cooking if you don't want to use your gas stove. You could play with that, have some fun. But yeah, just keep some, you know, stuff normal. Just what if stuff, tools, like it says on the bag. I've got an extra beanie. I've got some paracord in here. I have, uh, I think there's gloves in there as well. A little bug bite kit right here. A bunch of sunscreen and some tennis balls if anybody brings their dog and they forgot to bring a ball. I'll keep a couple of those with me just to be, be the fun guy. And yeah, so we got some stuff in here. These are vital for your ladies out there. Uh, you want to keep them happy. Get some s'more sticks that always stay with you. That way you can keep them clean and you always know where they're at. A little fire starting kit right here. I've got some like, a, you know, I think they call it fat wood and uh, some matches, some big uh, UCO matches there. And it's just really kind of some random stuff. I got some trash bags in here. I have an extra battery charger for my Milwaukee stuff in case my charging stuff and if I'm able to charge with it. Uh, see a little mini pillow. Just little random bits and pieces that people might need if you're out there or you might need. You never know what you're gonna need. Look at that poncho. Could always use one of those. If you get your rain jacket or you're just stuck in a little jam, always have one of those with you. All right, let's hop into the tent box of the camping, camping stuff. But I do have one more box after I show you this one that's got a, my electronics and my battery bank in it. So I want you to wait to see that. But I'll show you what's in this one real quick. So it is just a big Home Depot box. These are pretty large. It's got a rain fly. This is where I keep my uh, camping stove. Yeah, old faithful. It's kind of a beat up, but it's still working for me. So we'll keep rocking it until it won't won't do its job anymore. Got my camp axe, and I have a little pop up chair. I don't use a chair often, but it's there. You never know. My tent stuff. Here's my legs for my tent. Here's my tent itself. As you can see, it's pretty big. Could pack up smaller, but. The way I fold it, it makes it easy to unfold and set up pretty quickly once I get to the place we're going. So it kind of kind of stays nice in here. One thing I do want to mention too is I'm going camping tomorrow, like I already said, but look out for that video. Subscribe too if you're not and you're interested in seeing how I set everything up. I'm going to do a full video on how I set all my stuff up, what my tent looks like, what my camp looks like, all the stuff I bring. So stick around for that. I think you'll enjoy it. Hopefully you will. If you do, drop a like too. I'd appreciate that. So yeah, let's go. We got a tent. After that, we got our second tent, a little two-person backup tent in case we get people come or in case we want to go somewhere where the truck's not going to make it or we want to take the Jeep. So that's here just to be safe. We've got a ground tarp in here, keep your dry. Some extra propane. I got a couple extra rain flies and I have a nice little broom for the tent. And that's it in that box. Let me go grab that power, the electronics box that I have. It's pretty cool. I've got to spend a lot of time dialing it in and kind of making it work. So let's go check that out. So this is probably the most important case I have. It is my electronics stuff. I got it in a Pelican 1510. Um, I've had this for just from my photography and videography stuff over the years. And uh, it's worked really well with the Goal Zero stuff that I have as well. So this is where I keep my power bank, my Goal Zero Yeti 200 uh, that you saw the solar panel for earlier. I think it works really well with this. This is actually the 200X, this is the lithium version. I did have one of the original non-lithium, I think it would be NICAD versions, and uh, it lasted me about six years and then finally it burned out on me, but honestly I was so happy with it, I got another one. A little map stays in here sometimes. All right, we'll start over here. I gotta keep my headlamps in here. 
Just some extra ones. I do have some in the truck, but I keep a few extras over here in case anybody else needs them. I always bring those with. Uh, I got a couple of radios, just emergency radios on this side. Uh, I also have some like walkie talkies too that I bring just in case we got to chat or want to go do or film something from different places that can help us coordinate. And then we'll dive into this. Uh, my Goal Zero, the Yeti 200X. This thing's amazing. Come on, turn on. I'm gonna go charge it right now before we go on our trip, but I'm excited to have this. Always useful, especially when you don't have power hooks up, hook up somewhere. I can run my lights, I can charge all my batteries, charge my laptop battery off of it, and then charge it back up with the solar panel during the day when I'm not using it. Uh, this thing's great. It's a Goal Zero Lighthouse, uh, the Lighthouse 600. I've got a couple settings, also a little half dome setting, so you can only get light on one side which is nice and uh, this will get charged up from here it also has a crank charger on here never used this because I haven't had to I just plug it in with its supplied power cable right to the 200x and it works perfect along with that this is the main light that I use almost all night long I hang this right at the edge of my truck tent and uh, I use this little hanger this cord comes out it's got a spool of cable on it about 10 feet I think, 10 to 12 foot. Uh, there's the LED right there. And this is really cool, I can plug this in actually, we can just show you. Let's throw this on, plugs in just like that. And you can move this around anywhere and hang it up with the carabiner. Take this wire, peels through here like this. So this carabiner can slide all the way to the end and be right on top of the light once you pull all this extra cable out and this thing this thing is awesome, I love this thing. This thing will light up a camp for three or four people in a circle, this thing will light the whole thing up. And then the, the Lighthouse 600 also does it, just gives you some extra light. Uh, charger goes in here as well, with this, up in this side. This is a Trek Pack actually, if I forgot to mention that. This is a really popular with photography and filming. Uh, people, you know, you can customize this however you want to fit all your stuff. Keep a couple power banks in here too for on the go stuff. Little first aid book in case you ever wanna do some learning and catch up. Kinda goes with the map. Some hot hands in case you're getting cold. Just some other little bug stuff too, just to, just to have for this trip. This is usually pretty close to me and pretty easy to access in case we do need power or do need you know, any of this stuff, so. I like having some of it all mixed into there. Along with this stuff, the only thing that goes in our truck are, like I said, our clothes, um, camera stuff. Um, this sometimes goes in the truck depending on where we're driving through. If I'm driving through somewhere where I'm not worried about it getting stolen, then I leave it in the bed sometimes or just tuck it in there. Or if I'm getting out, going in somewhere, then I always put it inside the truck just because it's it's got a good little bit of value in it. I think that's pretty much it though. I do bring a easy up with me and I also bring a fold out white table that's kind of right over here by my truck right there. I bring that with as well. Um, just love having that type of stuff. I've got camping chairs, I've got a rocker, I've got a two person chair that we bring for me and my girlfriend, but that's pretty much it. All that stuff's kind of stuff you might, you kind of probably already have. But if you're interested in learning about how I do my truck tent camping, how I, what I bring or at least how I pack it all, then I hope this helped you. If you need any, if you have any questions, want to know what I have with the stuff or what's deeper in a box, let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe for more, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one.